Glycomics in recent years has enjoyed a renaissance. Carbohydrates, which were once really largely neglected, have been seen to be of increasing importance because they coat the surface of every cell of every organism in every kingdom of life, right from bacteria into humans. One of the fundamental aspects of glycomic research is to really understand the fundamental basis of disease. About 30% of therapeutic proteins in general are glycoproteins, meaning that sugar residues decorate the protein and they influence the stability of the protein. And that is really a key when it comes to rare genetic disease research. Understanding the fundamental basis, meaning the metabolic pathways that are altered, the alteration of various carbohydrates and carbohydrate metabolic pathways, and how they underlie rare genetic disease. Rare genetic diseases are diseases that occur at very low frequency in the general population. While these rare genetic diseases are quite uncommon individually, it's estimated there's about 5,000 rare genetic diseases. So about 8% of the population is thought to have one rare genetic disease. And if you think about it worldwide, that means about 600 million people worldwide have a rare genetic disease. Studying a rare genetic disorder actually has implications for more common disorders in the population. What we really hope to do are to create molecules that are going to benefit patients suffering from these rare genetic diseases like Gaucher's disease. And this is more broadly relevant because it turns out actually that there are these unusual mutations in glucose cerebrosides that are also found within patients who suffer from Parkinson's disease. And so Parkinson's disease and glucose cerebrosides have been genetically linked. So if these work for Gaucher's patients to correct these deficiencies in brain, they may ultimately have translational application in blocking the progression of Parkinson's disease. Currently, there's no therapeutic can actually slow the progression of Parkinson's disease. Glyconet contributes in many ways to our research. First off, of course, it provides core funding of this project, and that's very important in order to be able to do the research. The other important aspect of Glyconet is really with respect to paving the path for commercialization. We are very close to identifying molecules now that will likely move towards preclinical studies and perhaps clinical studies. And one real strength of Glyconet is to be able to enable researchers to take their work and move it towards commercialization. This ultimately spurs economic activity and creates jobs for scientists within Canada and contributes to the knowledge economy.